Good day, everyone, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. In today's lesson, we will talk about triangles. Short exercises are also included in this video. So let's get started. Triangles can be named according to sides and angles. Based on sides, we have the equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and the scalene triangle. Based on angles, we have the right triangle, acute triangle, and the obtuse triangle. We will talk about each type further in details. Let's start with the types of triangles named based on sides. First up, we have the equilateral triangle. I think the word itself speaks a lot about this type of triangle. The term equi is a combining word that comes from Latin, and it has the same meaning as the word equal. Therefore, an equilateral triangle refers to a triangle that has three sides of equal length. Clearly, when the sides are equal, the angles are also equal. And since the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, this means each of the angle has a measurement of 60 degrees. And when a triangle has two sides of equal length, we call it an isosceles triangle. Look at the given example below. The two sides of this triangle are equal, which means their angles are also the same. So if one is 65 degrees, the other one is also 65 degrees. So to come up with a total of 180, the remaining angle would be definitely 50 degrees. Another type of triangle is a scalene triangle. Notice that this type does not have any equal sides. All the three sides are of different lengths. Therefore, all the angles have different sizes as well, but still altogether would add up to 180 degrees. Now, let's talk about triangles named by angles. Study the given triangle. What have you noticed? In this triangle, you can see that one of the angles is 90 degrees. And that is why we call it the right triangle. It is actually pretty easy to distinguish a right triangle, as long as one of the three angles is a right angle. Of course, when you say right angle, it has to be an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. But what about if one of the three angles is more than 90 degrees, like this one? In this given triangle, Angle B is clearly more than 90 degrees, so we call this type of triangle an obtuse triangle. Let me say it one more time. If one of the three angles is more than 90 degrees, then it is called an obtuse triangle. And in some cases, all of the three angles are less than 90 degrees, just like the equilateral triangle where all the angles are the same all the angles are 60 degrees. This type of triangle is called an acute triangle. Look at this example. Each of the three angles is less than 90 degrees. This triangle, therefore, is an acute triangle. Now that you know how triangles are named, it is just reasonable to also discuss some parts of a triangle. Basically, a triangle is just like a mountain where the part that is parallel to the ground is called the base, and opposite the base is the peak, or the highest point of the mountain. In this given example, the peak is angle E, and it is also called the peak angle. The peak angle is always opposite the base. On the base, there are two angles, angle G and angle O. These are the base angles. And the line segment from the peak that is perpendicular to the base, let's say point P, let's have it here. This is called the heights or altitude. So when you say perpendicular, it has to be at an angle of 90 degrees with the given line. Here are some important points to remember before we do a few exercises. A triangle is also called a trigon. We can name triangles based on angles. A right triangle has one angle that is 90 degrees. An obtuse triangle has one angle that is more than 90 degrees. And an acute triangle where all the three angles are less than 
90 degrees. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. We can also name triangles based on sides. An equilateral triangle has three equal sides. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. And if none of the sides are equal, then the triangle is called a scalene triangle. Before we finally end our lesson, let's try to answer the given questions. You can always pause the video if you needed some time to think. The answer will be revealed to you right after each question. So here is the first one. What is the sum of the interior angles of a triangle? Is it 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 360 degrees? So which one do you think it is? The correct answer is 180 degrees. Let's try the next one. The given triangle is an isosceles triangle with two equal sides. If angle B is 70 degrees, then what is the size of angle A? Is it 60 degrees? Is it 50 degrees? Is it 40 degrees? Or is it 30 degrees? Shall we check our answer? For this question, the answer is 40 degrees. Considering that this triangle is an isosceles triangle, where two sides are equal, therefore, these two angles are also equal. So if angle B is 70, then angle C is also 70 degrees. These two angles together will give us a total of 140. Since the sum of the three interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180, therefore, angle A is 40 degrees. Here is the third question. Which of these is an equilateral triangle? Is it triangle A, triangle B, triangle C, or triangle D? So what's your choice? For the correct answer, it is triangle B. All the three sides of triangle B are equal and the sizes of the angles are also the same. Let's move on to the next question. What type of triangle does the picture show? Is it an isosceles triangle, an equilateral triangle, a scalene triangle, or is it a right triangle? The correct answer is a scalene triangle. Looking at this triangle, you'll notice that none of the sides nor the angles are the same. Therefore, this type of triangle is a scalene triangle. Down to our last question. In triangle DEF, what is the peak angle? Is it angle D, angle E, angle F, or angle X? What do you think is the peak angle? For the correct answer, it is angle E. The peak angle is always opposite the base. So, were you able to answer all questions correctly? I believe you did great. So, hopefully, this lesson will help you enhance your understanding about the triangles. My name is Teacher Bell, and this is Lessons Made Easy. If you find videos like this useful, a like would be appreciated. You might also want to consider subscribing to this channel for more learning opportunities and kindly share this video with others who might need this as well. This would be all for now. Stay safe, everyone, and have fun learning.